Um, were you relieved when you drove away from King's home last Saturday to actually have got four points? Um, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, we know the performance wasn't there and to get the victory was was not a, not a bonus, but, you know, a good return for a, a poor performance, really. So, yeah, we're definitely happy to get away with the get away with the win and, and sort of move on from it. If you go back to just before Christmas about the Exeter game, go forward from the Exeter game, that's the fourth time where you've scored all the team's points. Are you conscious that the team is leaning pretty heavily on you? Um, I don't think so. I think it's, it's one of them. The, the, the reason why you get the, the points is because is of the penalties and you look at the way the pack performed at the weekend when we needed them to step up and, and get us a couple of penalties to win the game, they, they did it. So. Um, yeah, credit goes to them and, and hopefully we can just keep playing and, and get a few of the wingers over for a few tries um, in the next few weeks. That's proved pretty hard lately though, hasn't it? Yeah, it has proved hard, but then again, you know, people say Gloucester aren't scoring tries, but the reason we aren't scoring tries is because as soon as we get over three, four phases, teams are that worried about it that they're giving away penalties and I'm just happy to step up and, and try and put them through the post. So it's not, a, it's not a, a necessarily a massive negative in terms of not scoring. Of course we want to score more tries, everyone wants to see that, but... If teams are that threatened by us that they're going to give penalties away, then we just have to make sure we take points when they're on offer. Has Nigel been uh, looking at, at the back play, maybe trying to simplify it a bit? Are, are there too many variables in there? I'm not too sure. I think we just, you know, if you look at the weekend, we just didn't really get our game going due to poor execution. So we're, we're trying to play, and you know we've got a big end to the season, and we're going to have to, you know, play a little bit, and hopefully the the sun will come out and start shining. We'll have some firm grounds, and we can play some running rugby, but. If it doesn't happen, we'll just have to keep knocking the three points over and, and get our victories that way. I think you know we'll we'll take 15, 14 wins for the rest of the season if it means winning. Well, you said about Nick Evans when you played Quinter in the season that I think you, the, the best all-round ten in in the Premiership, but you know, even he can have an off day. Yeah, I think everyone can have an off day, and you know that's probably what they had at the weekend was just was just an off day, a, a little blip, and I fully expect them to be back in in sort of top mode come come Friday night. So. Um, yeah, it's a, a big challenge ahead of us on Friday and, and one we're looking forward to. Interesting with, with Quinns, isn't it? Because organisationally, their defence didn't look quite up to it at Saracens. Yeah, again, I just think it's it's one of those blips. Like Saracens are a very strong, you know, well-drilled team and you know, Quinns are more of the free-flowing, you know, flair, flair team and they're champions for a reason. They're in the top three. You know, like I said, I, I see nothing on Sunday that, that suggests that it's any more, anything more than just a, a slight blip and like I say they'll be back on at Kingsham on Friday rounds ago.